Do you know these type of super cool, fancy, dramatic profile pictures with black background? Well, they're super easy to do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to shoot and edit them with a camera or a phone. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Simone. I'm an Italian photographer and videographer. In this channel, we explore techniques, strategies, and tools to increase our photography business and productivity. And today I'm answering to the most asked question of all time. How to shoot and edit these super dramatic portraits with black background in five easy steps. When I was at the beginning of my photography journey, I thought you needed super cool gear to make this happen because they look so professional. But in reality, it's exactly opposite. It's super easy to do and you don't need fancy gear. Knowing how to take these photos really helped me in my photography journey as they look very professional and help me stand out from the crowd. Also, let me tell you this, for your professional life, landing brand collabs and get freelance work, having an impactful profile picture will help you a lot. Also, if you want to know how I started my career from zero with no money, I'll leave you the link somewhere here above. Also, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna announce something very cool. The first and most important element is having a very strong light source. The strongest, the better. So I'm gonna show you three different examples. One with this Forster 200, which is a professional light that Nanlite sent me over. And then I'm gonna show you what this Amazon cheap light, this is $40 and I used this until Nightlight sent me over this one actually last week. So all the photos that you see of me are taken with this one. And then I'm gonna show you as well with this uh, neon that I found in my house. Every house has this one. They probably just attach to the ceiling. Have a look at it, very cheap. Now, especially if you don't have a, such a strong light like this Nightlight Force 200, a professional light, if you have a cheaper lighting, the most important element is to try to stay as close as possible to the light when shooting pictures. And then you can use a diffusion, super important as well. And you can use a blanket or even one of these super cheap clothes that they cover the light. So in this way, the skin will look much smoother and the shadow will not be a harsh shadow, but it will be smoother. Super important for professional photos. The second element is staying at least two or three meters further away from the background. And here's the same concept. If you have a strong light, you don't need to stay too far and you don't need a black background like I have here. But if you have a cheaper option, then you need to stay as far as possible, at least two meters and having a black cloth like I have here, or eventually you can use even these piece of plastic that I found in a home furniture store. They're super cheap. I think I paid like $8 or so. Okay, the next step and probably most tricky one is to set up your camera and expose it correctly to your face. Why you need to have a strong light source is because your face will be extremely bright, but then with the settings of the camera, you can darken the overall image. So you don't even need a black background if you have a very strong light source. Of course, you need to put your camera on a tripod and I don't need to explain why. The best option will be to ask your siblings, your mom, your dad to just pose for 10 seconds so you expose correctly your face, but that's not a problem. I've always been alone. I'm gonna show you how to do it alone. Then to control the camera, there are actually four main options. The first one is you use your remote that you can control the camera with this. She has a play and pause and shoot and everything. It's very cheap, link in the description, or you can use a phone. I have a Sony a7 III and I can connect the camera to a phone, but I don't really like the app. I prefer much more the remote. And here is also live streaming, so I can see exactly what the camera is shooting. Or uh, the last option is to have an external monitor attached to the camera so you see where you're shooting. For example, right now, I'm just gonna show you with my phone so I see what I'm shooting and I can just uh, click play, pause and shoot if I wanna stop or start the video or shoot a photo. So to take the focus of yourself, uh, you can use any object, whether a tripod or whether this like iPad holder, anything random, and then I touch it to the chair and I use a white cap on top. So I know that this will be the highlights of my face. And if I burn this, that means that I'm burning also my face. Now you can do these black photos just using one single strong light source, but if you prefer, and I prefer to do so, is using a fill light. For example, this uh, Nightlight Pabotube 2 6C, which can become any color that I want. Let's turn it on. And then one thing that can help you separate from the background is using a backlight that is basically will illuminate my back and create even more separation from the background. So this is kind of the best setup that you can have. You want to rotate the camera so it is in vertical mode. And then as we set, you try to take the focus 
on the white cap and also we need to turn off all the lights in the ambience. Okay, now that I took the focus, I can remove this one from the monitor, it looks good. So we are ready to take the shot just using the remote. But if you wanna take a profile picture, you wanna look good. So give me a second. Okay, and uh, when you're ready, you just need to click the shutter button. Is it ready? A uh, black background photo. Okay, next up is the Amazon cheap light. Let's see. Just to show you, I'm gonna remove also the backlight and this one. So you can see that you don't need these. Okay, turning off all the other lights. Very nice. So there's only the Amazon right here. Let's see how it looks. And then with the remote, always control the camera. And there you go. Perfect black background photo with a $50 Amazon cheap light. Don't worry if there is the Amazon light here because we can remove it very fast. Okay, last trial, everything is turned off except this home neon light. Okay, let's see the result together. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you how to do with the phone. Everything you need to do is just you go in photo and then you tap to pair. So what do you wanna do when you drag down the exposure? You keep pressing on the cap so the, the focus and the exposure will be locked and won't move. And then you drag down to take the exposure correctly on the cap. There you go. You can use a remote for a smartphone like this one from Joby if you wish, or you just set the timer. Now, let me show you with the timer. Let's put 10 seconds. Okay, there we are. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. There you go. Pretty cool, right? It's time to edit, but first, back to normal clothes. <sighs> oh, yeah, much better now. Okay, so once you've imported the photos in Lightroom, everything that I do is apply my preset, which is called Pitch Black. Look in the description if you are interested in this. And then I crop the picture. There you go. Okay. Increase the exposure a tiny bit. Then move the temperature to the yellow. Then what I do is I usually increase a tiny bit the exposure on my eyes. So exposure a tiny bit up, clarity a tiny bit up, and sharpness a tiny bit up. And then I copy and paste on the other. There you go. This is the second photo that I took with the Amazon light. So here we can just take a spot removal and then drag on the light right here and it's gone. You can just change this one right there, increase, decrease the feather, increase the opacity. Yep, it's completely gone. Now I apply my preset, pitch black, and uh, that's it. And then we have the photo with the neon. Here you can do the same thing or in Photoshop, this is much easier to do. Okay, I'm just gonna show you an example. That's nice. So you probably go here. Yeah, very good. And then uh, you can just keep going, do it like this, be patient and remove it all. Pretty easy. Now keep in mind that these things can be done as well with Lightroom Mobile. If you have a premium version, you have access to the radial filters and the graduated filters. Now I don't know what to waste too much time. And then I apply my preset, pitch black, but here we need to change a tiny bit the colors. Now it's not really in focus, that was like my fault, but if you take your time, I took in focus the microphone, but if you take your time, you can just do it much better than me. But that's the concept and it's super easy to do. And this is the last one with the iPhone. So we crop the image like so, there you go. Then we use the spot removal to move this. Yes, very nice. Okay. And then we apply the preset, pitch black. And then we increase the exposure of the eyes a tiny bit. Yeah, like so, and duplicate on the other eye. And then lastly, we want to decrease the clarity like so. And that's it, before and after. And if you want to know more about editing, there is a big news. 
Today I'm launching my Latin Crush course from Neofit to Professional in slightly more than two hours. And it will be free for the first 14 days from where you sign up. I'll leave you the link in the description if you want to know more information about it. Check it out because it's worth it. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe as I have a lot of value packed videos coming soon. If you have any comment or question, feel free to leave them down below and I'll make sure to answer all of them. Tag me on TikTok or Instagram with your black background photos. Super excited to see them. I'll see you there for daily content as well. Thank you for watching. Ciao.